Good afternoon. Welcome to Options Tender. We're going to look through SPY. I just want to show you on the weekly time frame real quick. QQQ. And then we'll go down to the daily charts. Uh, we're going to zip through big tech. And I um, have one basic premise that uh, I'm going to show you on uh, basically what we're doing for the week. You know, why are we ending so strong? We've been looking for reversal. Well, you know, it, it really is. Um, first of all, if you're new here, go down to that bottom right hand corner, hit that option center logo. And don't forget to hit the like button that helps us out the most. The best thing that you can do for us is hit that like button so we can get these algorithms moving and shaking. The um, so spy on the weekly time frame. It's all about this candle here. Now, this candle, uh, you know, I, I am kind of expecting a little bit weaker close. I do think we might have an end of day perhaps pullback uh, and one reason for that I, w I wasn't really thinking that um, until my alert started going off so uh, checking that out in the daily well, let's just go over to everybody <clears throat> has been looking at uh, TNX for the rates you know we have this we have this trend line here we're pushing off of the trend line inside day so far but some of my alerts had uh, gone off. We're forming an inverse head and shoulder. I do think this goes higher, especially to close this gap here. We could make new highs, possibly. Um, I don't trade, you know, uh, bonds or anything like that very often. But TNX is what everybody looks like, looks at. And then, then on um, on the dollar, the dollar has just been uh, simply consolidating. So I can draw a new shape here. It doesn't really matter. Spanning. But this is a, uh, to me, it looks like an A, B, C correction. And we're pushing up now. And it uh, is starting to uh, sort of keep pushing up. You don't get too many shallow moves in the dollar, clearly. After this consolidation, you know, I do believe that we're going to continue to the upside and break out here with this... Uh, the sort of consolidation area. We had this huge move, had to consolidate it, and I think we move higher. I don't know if we move lower first, but uh, what tells me, is we have CPI next Tuesday, and that's going to move the, these two items. But these are starting to move a little bit right now. So if these continue to move higher, the TNX and DXY, the dollar, if they start to move higher into the end of the day, we could see a reversal in the indices. Otherwise, we're just we're we're just grinding to the upside, and QQQ is leading. But what I want to show, yes, we did get a new high here. Um, that uh, that you know anything is possible in our minds. Just a big consolidation area, even though we're pushing higher. This really is just one area of consolidation. So I'm still looking for that reversal. In the next week, we rolled our positions out. Uh, as soon as I saw in the lower time frames, the stochastic had already reset. It was already way to the bottom. I, I had to roll out my positions. I was I was holding some um, uh, a few put positions into today for today's expiration. I said, you know what? Let me just hold on to them and uh, see what happens. So we got out pretty early before we had this big push and uh, rolled out to next week. So we're, we're, uh, we're not really worried about any of our positions. I think that Tuesday is our catalyst for any sort of reversal. Now, uh, after all those time factors that happen, everything that we've been looking for reversal, it all is still valid for me. This is a consolidation area. We're just dancing around. It's the same thing that happened here. You know, after we, we got to a certain point, we're saying, hey, we, we have this reversal coming. And, uh, you know, look like at the beginning, it started to happen. And uh, so you keep rolling out. I'm, I'm more of a swing trader, so I just keep rolling out my positions as we go. And uh, we eked out a new high. And, you know, that makes us look wrong. But really, it's just a consolidation area, whether we peak a new high, just like we did here. And then we start moving. So I'm, I'm still not looking for new lows, but I am looking for a reversal back into it. And you can check out the video uh, for the uh, where I will start buying because um, I do expect to buy this dip. And I do think the price goes lower, but not to new 
lows. Now, what's really important for this video is the cues. So the cues, and then we'll go through the individual names that make up the majority of the cues. And um, all, all we're over bought conditions on everything. I, but I just really want to point out the DMARC sequence. Uh, we did have our alert on here. We have a perfect nine sequence. So that's a excellent point to reverse from going into Monday. Now we might uh, just get a some sort of doji or reversal or inside day. It doesn't really matter what happens after here. Um, I, I don't think we'll go higher after this day. You know, I anything can happen. And this thing's just ripped to the upside. But this is a uh, nice formation for a reversal here, a perfect nine. And it works out really well. If you notice, we have um, the nine here, the nine here, the nine here. So there's it, it marks tops and bottoms pretty well. It doesn't always do the trick, if you notice here. Okay. Um, and so now with that said, we can just zip through. And that's all I want to show you. We, we're just going to zip through. We'll do a uh, more in-depth weekend video into the weekend here, probably Saturday night or uh, Sunday. And taking a look at Apple, all of these ones coming up, we have, we'll get a nine sequence on Monday. Okay, again, the nine worked here, the nine worked here, here. So we're looking for Monday to have a nine on Apple. So Apple could pop up a little higher, doesn't have to in order to get that nine sequence. And uh, we perhaps we have a pause on Monday um, before going into CPI and then getting our reversal off of uh, CPI data. And it, it's before the bell. So uh, just keep that in mind that, that Monday's trading, uh, you can you know position yourself properly into tuesday so before the bell 8 30 in the morning eastern standard time and so again we're looking at monday which kind of falls into our weekly seasonality when friday is uh is bullish as today i i thought we were going to be bearish today um it, it proved that today was bullish and it you know, it's proven that these sequences are, are just falling right into place. And so on Monday, Monday usually is not a reversal day, but it doesn't have to be. It, it's net positive. If, if Friday is positive, Monday is typically positive. And by the end of the day, Monday, perhaps the uh, bears start firming up going into Tuesday. So it could be some sort of doji candle, reversal formation, a harami. It could be anything. Um, so you have Apple with uh, Monday, the nine count. I pointed this out to members that Amazon already had its nine count. So we took Amazon trade today, took off our trade again when we thought, um, hey, uh, the stochastic and everything was um, was reset. So it, it really appeared that we would be an inside day or an up day today. And so I had to take off and, and roll all my positions into next week. And uh, the week after, as a matter of fact. And so uh, we had our early signal from Amazon. It was the first one to get that nine sequence. Meta. It's got it today. Look for reversal off of Meta. Google. Monday. Monday will be the, the uh, nine sequence formation. Microsoft. Monday again. These are all falling into place. Tesla's a little bit different. It's in a different position. I really want to buy Tesla. I, I, I hope that Tesla makes a new low. I'm thinking this is the, the most bearish scenario is that uh, we have a one, two, three, and we're making some sort of four in here and that we have a, another low to get in Tesla. And I'll be looking to buy Tesla down lower. NVIDIA is the last one. You got our alert today on this one as well. So we have a 13 count sequence up there, but we also have our eight and then nine on Monday. That would make nine on Monday. Okay. So that's really, really what's important. I know that um, this can be very frustrating when you get these 
uh, up and down days. You don't get your reversal like this one here, for example. You have your doji, reverse, and goodbye. Okay, nothing goes in a straight line, but um, a lot of times when it's such a uh, big area that you get consolidation, you get formations, and it's not just one day. This this kind of looks like it's one day, but really, you got down to a certain point, and you have uh, one, two, three, four, and our reversal will be almost like a five-day reversal series. And so that's an entire trading week. And so it takes a little bit of patience and that you can't do necessarily uh, such short term trades. Now, I got caught a little bit short, but we're able to roll our positions, you know, with a little bit of loss on there. But we're, we're uh, likely to regain those losses on the positions that I had on short term this week because I didn't think this um, formation would last so long. Now, um, I have plenty of uh, puts that are uh, longer dated as well going into December. So those uh, are taking some heat, but not really worried about it. So um, that's that's virtually it. I know it looks a little different. We had our consolidation here. This one is leading, so it's higher, but uh, this is a little bit different than SPY. SPY is just in this consolidation sequence here, just like this where we didn't think we were going to get new high we eked out a new high and then reversed after so you know spy doesn't really need to wait till monday to reverse but the cues are really what we're going to pay attention to getting into a reversal on monday they're probably going to be pretty firm and uh, not too much price action going into tuesday where there's a catalyst and tuesday could be a nice uh, nice gap down after um, some sort of reversal doji. So that's what I want to show you. Um, that's, yeah. Anyway, just like the video and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hit the notification button so we can um, get these videos out to you often.